Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I am doing a tag video. I saw this one first on Kelly Marissa. She kind of started the tag um, and then Larissa from the Polish Lab Rat uh, said she did it and it was fun and I liked watching her video so I decided that I would do it too. So I'm gonna link both Kelly's video and Larissa's video down below if you haven't already seen them. I will also list the questions for this tag video down below so if you have a channel and you want to do it feel free to participate. I would love to watch your video. Um, if you don't have a channel and you just want to answer the questions in the comments, I'd also love to read those. So either way, I'll put the questions in my description box down below. All right, these questions are all about my nail polish collection. Um, I have done two kind of collection tour videos. I did one in December 2019 and one in December 2018, so I'll list those up above here in the links if you want to check them out. Uh, but let's dive in and get started. The first question is, how many polishes do you own? I don't know exactly, uh, and I, you know, kind of get in more polishes and de-stash polishes pretty frequently. I would say that I own in my collection probably maybe like around a thousand, but likely less than that. Like definitely, I definitely own more than 500 because I know that there are about 510 colors or so in the Zoya collection and I own almost all of those. Um, and then I, I don't think that I own 500 other polishes because I fit them all in my Alex drawers and most of my Alex drawers are Zoya's. So I would say it's probably like around 750 maybe is what I own. And to be totally honest, if I was not a Zoya collector, if I was not trying to collect them in order to do comparisons and, and keep track of that collection, um, I probably would have closer to like 300 or 400. Um, there are several Zoyas that I don't wear, that I don't love, um, and that I would pass on just because they're not my style. Um, but I hold on to them because I really like them for comparison's sake. So my collection is 750, but I definitely, you know, if I decided to stop my channel and no longer do comparisons and this wasn't what I wanted to do, I would easily be able to part with probably 200 of my polishes uh, because I just don't wear them. They're not really my style. Okay, the next question is what was the first nail polish you remember buying and it's no longer in my collection it hasn't been for a long time but i remember buying i think when i was i want to say i was like 19 and i had just moved into my first apartment um i was like going to school part-time and working part-time and i bought at cvs um a bottle of it was from sally hansen and it was orange um and i have been vegan for a really long time but i wasn't always um like as aware of which products were cruelty free so sally hansen's not cruelty free i don't buy it anymore but you know when i was 19 i wasn't as concerned about it um i did buy a bottle of sally hansen and it was like a bright orange um and i wore it on my toes pretty much every day for a year <laughs> um, i just put it on my toes every day um, or you know like every three or four days and I loved it so much it made me feel so good um, and that's like the first polish that I remember buying and being really really into um, and then it wasn't for several more years until I started actually like collecting nail polish um, and you know sharing with you all uh, but that was the first one that I remember like buying I don't know that I could tell you the name of it but it was it wasn't like neon orange but it was a really intense orange the most recent nail polishes that I had to my collection, that's the next question. Um, I bought six from Palette Polish and I haven't had a chance to swatch and haul these yet, but uh, I'll give you a little quick preview. Um, I do want to do like an actual live swatch video, but I got Blueberry, I got Cornflower, I got Robin's Egg, um, Cookies and Cream, which is a topper that looks really fun. Sage, which is a very pretty green polish. I'm excited about this one. And Pickle, which is like a green metallic. So these are the six that I got. Um, these are probably the most recent ones that I added to my collection, not including things that I've gotten for swatching and for PR. This is Julia. Um, this is from the Ultra Brights collection. I just did a swatch and review of this collection, a little throwback review. Um, so I'll link it up above if you want to see it. But Julia is, in my opinion, just a nail polish that looks like your nails are stained when you're wearing it. It doesn't give me enough color payoff, it's streaky, it's annoying to put on, and it just looks like my nails are stained blue and I really, I just dislike it. I don't understand why it exists. I don't like it even over a white base. I didn't like this one. I just felt like it was so streaky and see-through and not, not worth it. So this is probably my least favorite polish in my collection. Um, yep. <laughs> Okay, the next question is what is your rarest polish? And I don't really know how to answer this because I do have some indies that are no longer available, but they were, you know, those are kind of expected to only be released for a certain amount of time. And I don't know that I have any that are like 
super sought after. Uh, so the one that I'm thinking of is Cirque Colors Wanderlust. This one um, is a neon from them that I don't think they have anymore. And I don't know that it was like super popular, but I know that they do kind of release neons for like a year and then discontinue them and sometimes bring them back. So I would say this is maybe one of the rarest ones that I own. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I, I don't have a great answer to this question because I don't really like go after some of those polishes that are like really, really hard to find. Okay, the next question is, what is my most expensive polish? Uh, I have three polishes from Misho Beauty. These are $20 a piece retail, which is, I think, the most expensive one that I have. I might have some indies that would sell for more than that if I was, like, you know, really hunting down the highest bidder. Um, but Misho Beauty retails for $20, and I do think that's the most expensive ones in my collection. Um, the, I have three that were sent to me to review, to swatch and review, and I posted swatches on Instagram. Um, I really enjoy these polishes. They have excellent formulas. Are they worth like twice as much as my Zoya's? I don't know, uh, but they do retail for $20 each. My Zoya, I own the most of Zoya. No competition at all. <laughs> what color do I own the most of? Oh, this is so interesting. Um, okay, so I think because I usually get whole collections, um, I and because I own all of Zoya's polishes for comparisons, it's not like I just went and bought the colors that I like the most, but I do think of the other brands that I just kind of buy the ones that I like. I have definitely blue is the one that I own the most of. I will buy like almost any blue nail polish that I find uh, because I just love it so much. So blue is definitely the one that I have the most of. Um, it's the one that like when I started buying Kale polish, I started by buying all their blues. Palette polish, I buy all their blues. Um, Society Wit, I have all their blues. Uh, it's just kind of... It's what I like to go to when I try a new brand. Okay, the next question is what nail polish in your collection means the most to you? Definitely my All About polishes mean the most to me. Um, I worked so hard on these six beauties and there are six more coming soon. Um, and they, they just mean a lot to me. They represent to me um, a lot of hard work, a lot of love, a lot of care. Um, and also they represent just like all of you uh, because I feel so grateful that so many of you like them and love them and talked about them. Uh, so yeah, I think these ones definitely mean the most to me. Okay, and then the last question is, what is your go-to nail polish right now? And I would say I'm gonna answer this with a color. I have been wearing a ton of these like light purples, like a little bit of pinky purples. This is like what I'm going to in this moment right now. I just absolutely adore these ones. Awesome, let me know down below if we have any similar answers. And again, if you wanna do this tag, I'll put the questions in the box. Awesome, I hope you enjoy this one and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.